Hey guys, we just got this amazing opal. Wait till you check out this video. This opal just came out absolutely amazing. We had some drama in between. We had to change up our game, but hey, that's opal cutting. Come on in. Hello everyone, it's Robert and Michael from Global Prospecting. How is everyone today? Today we're gonna to be cutting another beautiful opal for you folks. And hopefully we can get some more people to watch our videos and check them out. So make sure you share them. Uh, make sure you subscribe, give us a like, and turn on notifications if you can, if you want to. So today we're going to be cutting this beautiful seam opal from Lightning Ridge. Check that out, Michael. Look at that. It's a beautiful one. Talk so we're going to get right into the cut, and uh, let's get moving. Thanks, guys. So we're going to try to remove this matrix off and around the opal and off the back. I don't know if that backing will stay, but uh, we're going to try. And we're starting with the 220 wheel. We're probably going to have to skip through sections of the beginning of this cut because it's pretty muddy. So we're starting to get our form down and we're getting most of the matrix off the opal. It's a pretty muddy opal. Hopefully the backing stays on this opal, but I've had them pop off before. And if it does happen, then we will use this and we'll make a doppler. starting to shape up pretty nice we got the color is absolutely beautiful look at the color in that we're going to be adding a new segment to our videos each week called cutters corner and we'll be showcasing an artist to show some of the stones that they've cut, some of the opals that they've cut. So please comment below on what you think of the work that they've done. And Cutter's Corner is coming up next. And here's a couple opals done by Christine Kuhn. These opals came out absolutely amazing. So guys, give her a big hand and put some comments below on what you think of her work. And beautiful job, Christine. So we're working on the back of the opal now. This opal should come out absolutely beautiful. I don't think this backing is going to last on this opal. Oh, we're off to do a doublet. So we're going to be taking this thin, thin slice of opal and we're going to show you how to make a doublet. And we had it planned the whole time. This should come out absolutely beautiful, guys. We have some black potch that we will be slicing and then we'll show you the technique that we use to uh, make doublets with our opals, our thin opal slices. So we're just going to get it formed up a little bit better for the, the shape that we want to go with and then we'll uh, get right into the technique that we use and the materials that we use to create doublets. So if you're looking for a quicker way to get to our channel, you can go to letscutopal.com. We got a ton of videos on there on cutting opal for the beginner and the experienced cutter. So check out our channel. There'll be a link in the description. This is what you'll need for creating a Doppler. You'll need black iron oxide. You'll need a two-part epoxy, epoxy 330. It's a two-part epoxy. 
You'll mix them at a one-to-one -one ratio. Jeweler tweezers and a zip tie. A small container for mixing the epoxy. And this is our black potch that we've pre-cut. And our opal slice, and we'll be adding this onto the top. We'll be gluing this and securing it. So this is everything you need, guys. Say you want to take your epoxy and you want to do a one-to-one -one mix ratio. I use the top of the cup because you don't need a lot. Make sure you have a little something to stir it with too. And you might want to wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves, but I would wear gloves. You don't want to get this stuff all over your hands. And then you want to add your iron oxide, just a tiny bit. You don't need a lot. That's just for dyeing the epoxy. Mix it up good. Make sure you mix it up good. And this is what we'll be using to secure our opal to the black potch. And then you want to take some of the epoxy that's been dyed and add it to the potch. Get a good amount on there. Try not to get it on your hands. Fill it all the way through the section. Then you're going to take your opal slice and then pop it on the top here. do that and then press down on it slightly and that's the beginning of your droplet then you want to take your jeweler tweezers put it in between and then secure it with the zip tie that'll hold it and keep it down good so and you're gonna let it dry for about 24 hours and that's the start of our doplet that's it guys fire and you're gonna dop it just like you would do normally and you're gonna be cutting it just like you do normally. So we like to heat up the stone and heat up the tip of the wax. Press down on it to get a good seal. Make sure you got a little cup of water with you so you don't burn your hands with the wax. Get it on there secure, securely. Let's do this. So we're going back to the 220 wheel and we're going to start just like we start with a fresh opal. If anybody's looking for opal rough to cut, you can go to global-prospecting.com. We've got a wide range of cutting opal rough and we just got a, a nice new fresh batch in. so. So come check us out guys, there'll be a link in the description directly to our store. And we're working the opal. We're getting the shape down here. Try to get a little more symmetrical. And the black potch really brings out the color in the opal. Yeah, the opal won't be worth as much and you want to definitely tell everyone that it, it is a doplet. Because with the uh, inexperienced eye, they won't be able to tell. So you really need to let people know that it's a doplet if you're selling the opal. So we'd like to thank everybody for watching, checking out our videos. It takes about 16 to 20 hours to put uh, these videos together. Sometimes it takes a little bit more between the uploading and all the editing and taking two of us working on it so we really do appreciate everybody checking us out and watching the videos all the way through and for those of you who are new to our channel make sure you give us a thumbs up a like and subscribe if you want to we'd really appreciate it
let's continue on here. Well, look at the color in that. It's really going to make a big difference. So we're turning the corners here and we're on the 280 wheel. Smoothing out, getting out some of the scratches from the 220 wheel. And when you're, you know, after you're done cutting an opal, when you set these opals, it's just such a big difference in just an opal sitting there loose. The difference is amazing when you, when you get these opals in the setting. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're on to the 600 wheel. The 1200 wheel. As we step down in wheels, the grain gets finer. Wow, look at that opal. Stunning. And off to the 3000 wheel. And to the 14,000. If you do have a 14,000 wheel, it saves you a lot of time when you're polishing at the end with the cerium oxide. It won't take you as long. Next step, cerium oxide. We're using a felt polishing pad and we're infusing it with cerium oxide. And for all you new cutters out there, don't give up. Just keep going, trying, and your opals will come out amazing. When you're cutting an opal, it can take you away to a world of beautiful colors. You actually end up dreaming an opal. So if things are looking down, that too shall pass. Get into opal cutting, you'll love it. Well guys, that was the cut. The opal came out amazing. Can you guys tell us what you think of the opal? Um, you know, that's opal cutting. You, you get a piece of rough, you don't know what you're gonna do. You end up cutting it, you know, mistakes happen. You know, I probably should have kept the opal as a uh, specimen. But, uh, you know, when you get to those points in cutting opal, you, you want to save what you got left, and that's what we did. So we made a doppelet. It came out beautiful. Check it out. It came out awesome. You guys are going to love it. Lots of blues, lots of greens. And, uh, you know, that's opal cutting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new to the channel, if you want to. We'd appreciate it. Also, we're going to have t-shirts available uh, at our website soon. So it'll be easier for, uh, for you to purchase them. And we have a couple of different opal designs. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Michael, you got anything to add? Thank you guys for the comments, as always. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, tune in next Thursday. Next Thursday, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. We out. And this is the completed opal. Look at the colors in that opal. And for any of you cutting opal that would like us to showcase a couple of the opals that you've cut to show everybody your work, you can send videos to us to globalprospecting1 at gmail.com. And we'll showcase one cutter a week and show some of the work they've done. It's, I love seeing people's work. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Keep the videos coming.